So today, I want to take a look at this Timelov 10.1 inch LCD digital microscope. This is the model DM202. Now in a previous video, we took a look at the DM201 that they sent us to look at. And this one has been upgraded to a 10.1 inch screen, as well as more adjustment in the height. So let's take a look at it. And it is a absolute huge display. It does come with a 32 gig SD card. The remote seems to be the same. USB-C as well. That's our HDMI mini to HDMI cable. It's cool. Has our 18650 cell. Love the fact that we got a 10 inch screen here. That's gonna be portable. That's just fantastic. Awesome. 2000 milliamp hour, 7.41 watt hour. And of course you can upgrade that however you like. Nice. It does come packaged very well as the previous time log did. Our manual here, I'll give you a quick glimpse of this in case you wanna look at something. You can pause it and do so. of our menu settings here. And some of our specs, if you're interested. A little bit of FAQ and support. Awesome. Actually a pretty nice manual to be honest. A little power brick, this five volt one amp in the cloth. And this is our adjustment bracket. They have upgraded these knobs and that does seem to be nice. Just snug it gently and got a pretty smooth control to it. Real similar to the others, but this is by far the longest bracket that I own. I did like the extension tube they did on the the last model we reviewed, but this is even better because we can even go closer without having to take the tube off. We can just adjust it all the way. So that's that's a great upgrade. And our LED lighted base it looks real similar to the last one. Seems to be identical. We can tilt this if we want to. Loosen up this hex bolt here and loosen it up how we like. So back now with just a comparison here being Somewhere around three and three quarters up and working distance and just got a button cell under here. You can see some de detail, even some scratches on both cells. Um, they're not identical, but they're, they're really, really close. So this gives you a first hand comparison of the two and the same working distance, how much more we can see. I think I shared that the menu it's probably going to be about the same on both. Double click. And we're in the menu, the same remote does both. This is pretty cool for this video. Let's go over. Yep, I got the image brightness at 70 on both at this time. Both set for video. But I like my shortcut for OK to be my video. 
I'm usually videoing something under here that I'm working on. Looks like our settings are like the same. LCD brightness 70% on each. They have the same version. Um, looks like the menu is almost identical to this one. I won't, I won't spend a lot of time on that. If you want to do playback. And of course, if we hit the button, we'll start recording. So I'll also have this video side by side on the monitor so you can see it after I download the, uh, the data from it. I just plug up to the USB with my computer and just use it as a storage device and actually um, just to show it on this DM201 uh, review, all you have to do is hook it up, connect it as a storage device. You can either do it as a, as a camera, which is really cool um, to be able to put up on your big display. Of course, you can do a storage device and pull your, pull your video from the media. Just push the button again, either here or OK, and um, we start recording. And that's just a comparison. Usually, I'm going to have something like a circuit board under mine, so something of this nature here, and see the detail there. And I do have the light barrier ring on, on both of these, by the way, so we don't get quite as much glare, especially on the silver surface. It would have been, um, just by the way here, it would have been a lot more glare without, without the light barrier. So. Just a little spot well or board that I have, so just sharing it with you here. And you can see the difference for yourself. And what I'll do is I'll I'll record a little bit of this as well and put it up on the monitor. You can see it from a distance, like I'm seeing it. And you can also see it on the monitor side by side. But I'm typically always going to have something under here that I'm working on, like this speedometer for a friend I'm working on right now. And there's always going to be something that we're working on here. It's going to require some working distance. Just like this. This was a little 5 volt regulated chip that I replaced with a 78 L05. So yeah, I'm really going to enjoy having the 10.1 inch on the on the bench. If you if you think you would like something like this, so you don't have to put it up on the monitor, um, I definitely think it's well worth it. Um, I'm actually going to use both, and if I want to put it up on the big screen, I'll probably use my smaller microscope. And if I just want to get this one out and maybe even run it off battery power for a little while on a quick job, I can just do it right here and. Just throw it up here, battery power, just cut it on. Don't have to hook up to the monitor or anything, and I got a really, really nice display. And as I mentioned in a couple microscope uh, review videos, for me, with my eyes getting older in my mid-40s now, um, these microscopes are just so helpful. So um, I really, really enjoy them. I, I love uh, having them around, and I, I really enjoy doing reviews on them. So...
Let's just see how high this will get. That's just incredible working height and still, still got a good bird's eye view. That's still much, much larger than actual size, even, even with that much working room. So that is a crisp, crisp image. I'll just go ahead and let you, I'll let you see this on the screen as well. Because I'm not sure how good the video is doing here. I hope I don't have glare. Well, for one thing, I went out of, <laughs> I went out of the video. Hi. Okay. So that is a crisp image. We're getting some video of this here so you can see it on your monitor as well. How it's recording. And fantastic. It's just a great great way to get a very crisp image and still focus on a smaller SMD components on the bottom here, the little transistors. And then of course, focus even better on the MOSFET, the top of the MOSFETs itself here. And screen printing there is a lot of focus and there we go. So just that difference in the, the thickness there. But the quality is just, it's excellent. And un unbelievable working height here. I mean, compared to my soldering iron, straight up and down, right? I mean, which you never have anyway. One of my favorite tips is the, is the bent tip on the Heiko. So, I can get by with pretty low, low clearance typically. But to have this much clearance, just something I never had before with a microscope. And still have that large of an image. Of course, that's a little bit too high for me. We wouldn't run it that high, but you can. Especially if you had, um, you know, something even bigger you're working on, right? This, this is not the best example because it's not terribly high. But of course, you can work on something even bigger. This is just one I'm cleaning up some of the potting on on the board, but it's, it's not a great example. But yeah, I could get used to that for sure. You can see exactly where you're at. I can look straight ahead instead of looking down. I like it a lot. This right here is gonna be about the perfect height for me. Looking straight ahead. So we talked about it having an 18650 2000 milliamp cell. Um, so it can be portable or battery powered. 10.1 inch display. It can still be displayed out to a monitor. Just like we did with this one and showed in, in the video of the 201. We can still hook it to the computer and, and do so like that. I'll bring this down and show that just, just real quickly here. I'm going to unplug it from the power source. We're gonna press hit a switch to USB UVC mode. So I have it plugged up to my computer with the USB, which is charging the battery and running it as well as hooking to the computer in USB UVC mode. I'm just gonna to go to my camera app on the computer and it's already connected, there it is. So you can see if it's any lag there for yourself. The speed I'll be moving a board or something at it would not be any lag to bother me at all like a little meter probe see it go across here so i really really like the 10.1 inch microscope i believe it's going to be my go-to um I really want to tell Tom Love I appreciate them sending it um, and tr just trusting us to look at it and give it our honest review, which we always will. And I just thought it would be good for us to look at it and just see what they offer. Um, I really enjoyed looking at the, the DM201. It's been a great, great microscope. It's been right here <laughs> ever since I've reviewed it. And I really appreciate them sending the DM202, which is 10.1 inch screen. So a lot of the same features and then some. A lot of your menu and your 
a lot of your specs are going to be the same. We're getting a larger display, more movement, and a lot better adjustment knob here. I think I showed that earlier. I'm not sure. Other than that, everything's pretty much identical. So yeah, let me know in the comments how you like this microscope. Any questions you have, leave them below and I'll try to answer them the best of my ability. And we're just going to learn more and more about these scopes as we use them more on my workbench. Because about everything I work on, <laughs> like this right here, for example, it's pretty much going to take a microscope to do. It's getting where um, I'm definitely needing the microscope more and more. So I so hope you enjoyed the quick review of this microscope and just how handy it can be on our workbench, especially with soldering and other applications. Um, it can record videos for so helpful for, for my audience and, and what I do working with electronics and other repairs. If you find it helpful, I'll have a link in the description for this microscope and where you can purchase it at. So if you found this video helpful today, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and God bless.